So in this video I'd like to show you what to do in case your preview on your Mac doesn't work. We are of course talking about clicking on the spacebar when anything is selected in the finder and what we expect is a preview of that file. If it's an image, then a huge image on the screen. If it's a video, then a mini video player that starts playing when we tap the spacebar. And in case this doesn't work for you and you can only see something like this, that means that uh, you simply tap and click the spacebar literally and what you get is like the title with a still image and if it was supposed to be a video, I'm going to show you what you can do with that. So um, yes, you can actually just tap it how many times you want and it just still doesn't work. And the only way to fix it is to navigate and open up the activity monitor. It's an app which is built into the uh, Mac OS. So it looks something like this and in the there there are so many processes and things that are going on at the, the same time. And if you search for the preview or the word preview then nothing is going to pop up because it's not called like that but rather the quick look feature or quick look process which you have to find among all of these things. So once you scroll down and find it what you have to do is to click on it and like you can see for me it's quick look service quick look UI service with some number and identification so there's memory statistics but there is also the quit button. And I would advise you to force quit that process. So once you do that and just leave the activity monitor, once you click on the video again and press the space bar, it starts to work suddenly. And this is a bug or whatever you want to call it in inside the process of quick look or the preview. So this is how it does work and this is what you have to reset in order to make it work again. And uh, this is pretty much how it works. Like this is one of the greatest features of the Mac OS that I tend to use a lot of times, like multiple times a day, which is really useful for me and I bet it's really useful for other people as well. So it can be really frustrating if it doesn't work suddenly. And uh, the cause of this problem could be that multiple things are going on or you are using your RAM to an extent which isn't built for or I don't know what's really the cause but just know that this is what you have to force quit in case it just stops working. When it comes to restarting the MacBook itself, well, technically I think it could work but it doesn't always work and I think that as far as I remember I even restarted my MacBook and and of course the same thing was going on still so I didn't really fix the problem by restarting the MacBook. Anyways guys I'm not gonna drag out the video any longer because it really doesn't need to be that long so this is gonna be the end. In case there is anything that you would like to say then let me know down below in the comments. I reply to most of the comments and yeah we can see each other in the future uploads. Of course if this video helped you then leave a thumbs up then uh, it would really help me and help the video so consider doing that and we can see each other in uh, the future videos.